Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Leos their monthly love read. Leos, this is for September 2022. We're going to get cards on you, them, and the connection. And then we're going to get some love and romance journey oracle cards from Queen Sugar Tarot, the Hermit Tarot channeled love messages, hidden truth oracles from all things intuitive. Ooh. And uh, White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2. And we're going to finish off the read with Heart Songs of the 90s Songs and the Keys of Love by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. Guys, um, this is interesting. These are general reads, so take whatever resonates and leave the rest. If you feel like this is not your read, then go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're not sure what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link below that will take you to um, a web page that I'm not affiliated with to get your um, birth chart. Um, sorry, you're peeking out there, Leos. Um, and there's also a link in the description box to get to my personal webpage if you're interested in a personal read. Guys, on the bottom of the deck is the High Priestess. Um, the High Priestess doesn't always say a lot. Um, she keeps a lot of things to herself, but she's extremely, extremely spiritually connected, very much guided by her intuition. The Strength card, which is you guys coming out underneath there, guys, is um, you might need to be courageous and strong through the month of September um, and really tap into your intuition. I don't see necessarily you taking a lot of actions in terms of connecting with a person but I feel like you are closing doors and and finishing cycles and I will explain why in a second so um be strong be courageous be that great Leo that you are and use your intuition I think a lot of Leos from what I hear I don't know if it's true but um tend to have um pretty high um like intellectual not intellectual abilities I mean sure we all do right um all of us Leos are so smart. I'm just kidding. Um, intuition, like spiritual gifts, intuition, psychic abilities. I am not psychic, but um, I, I do believe in intuition. All right. So Leos, you are showing up. Interesting. Interesting. I feel like right now you are focusing on what you've lost, what you don't have, Leos. You're watching stuff go down the drain almost apathetically like, oh, well, I'm just sad because I, well, I don't have what I want. But you have great things, but you're really focused on what you no longer have. So you are sitting in the energy of focusing on what you don't have versus what you do have. Sad, apathetic, kind of depressed. I feel like you could potentially be very much overthinking this situation. Very much a prisoner, if you notice this guy here, to these thoughts. Very much a prisoner to these feelings, if you allow yourself to be that way. I feel like you're overthinking situations, you're focusing in on the negative, which is really not your character, Leo. But good thing coming, we have you getting clarity. The Ace of Swords is coming in your energy, guys. You are going to get clarity. You are going to have new beginnings with your clarity and recognizing what you need to cut out of your life, what you need to stop doing, what you need to start doing. You're going to cut crap out and build new clarity. You have perfect clarity of a situation. Your mind is open. You're receiving downloads, right? Input from the universe, from God, from your spirit guides. You're being this high priestess. You're gathering information. You're using your intuition. Um, your person is showing up. Someone that truly, truly loves you. This is the King of Cups energy. It could potentially be a water sign. We also have a Nine of Cups which is a wish fulfillment, emotional stability. Um, I feel like this person absolutely loves you. They or will be in love with you. Um, they are empathetic. They are compassionate. They show love. They might not verbalize love, but they show you love in, in different ways. They're showing up as your wish fulfillment. And they're showing up as someone who is independent, who is stable, who is financially savvy, who is um, committed and loyal. Um, and steadily working hard. They're showing up in a singular energy, you guys, right? The nines are singular energy. Um, I feel like they are. your king is single right now or working on being single, and you're, you're working on getting your clarity. So I feel like this is who you want. This is going to be your wish fulfillment. Um, you just got to get there. So guys, we have the Six of Swords for the Connection, the World card, and the Tower card. So to me, this is identifying that you are moving on to calmer waters. I feel like 
you're moving away from this overthinking. And I feel like your king is working his way to financial stability and emotional stability to be what you need him to be, him or her. It doesn't matter in tarot. It's just the energy, right? So um, I feel like you guys are moving away from something and you're coming together is what you're doing. Like you're moving away from something, they're moving away from something, and you guys are going to meet in the middle. Um, I do feel like... I'm not sure what order this goes in, guys. We have the tower and the world card. So I feel like um, either a tower is going to come and jolt your world and it's going to uh, end a cycle and begin a new one. Or you're going to end a cycle of a situation and something's going to come and flip your world upside down. I'm going to actually clarify this tower moment. What is this tower moment for Leo? The star card, your wish fulfillment, <laughs> the seven of pentacles, so um, planting some seeds, working to fruition, the ten of wands, I don't even know why I got that last card, the nine of wands, and or the seven of wands, sorry, and the king of cups again, guys. So your tower moment is this king of cups coming into your life. <laughs> it's interesting because in this bottom of the deck... Oh, I didn't even see the um, Two of Cups card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, maybe it wasn't this one. I'm sorry. I thought the star I thought the star card was in the bottom of the deck here. But so the tower moment is your wish fulfillment. Um, the tower moment is you putting down your burdens of being defensive. You are working on seeds. You want things to grow to fruition. And you're getting your wish fulfillment. With the tower card which happens to be the king of freaking cups who is your person so that's what's coming in <laughs> you guys you guys are going to come together after you go through a completion of a cycle um i feel like maybe both of you are going through the cycle i feel like yours is much more tumultuous than theirs um but you guys are coming together and you're not expecting this person to come in when they do Rut row. Use your intuition, guys. Tap into your intuition. You have strength. You're going to need it. It's going to be bumpy. Um, but your your wish fulfillment is coming. Yay! For the O's. All right. Let's get the Love and Romance Journey deck um, cards by Queen Sugar Tarot for Leo. What does Leo need to see about this Love and Romance Journey? Abandonment. I kind of feel like this is you at the current moment, right? Like that five of cups energy. Balance. That is what you are seeking and moving towards. Your final move will be made. I think this king of cups is going to be your final move, guys. In terms of, uh, in terms of your love situation. You will find out some unspoken truths about this person that's your partner. I kind of feel like this is really like truths about how they feel and think about you. That they want to be your partner, perhaps. What? All right, all right, all right. Let's get some Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Leos. Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Leos. Maybe. Maybe I'm right. Um, if I asked you to stay, would you leave? I feel like this might be your your person coming towards you. I feel like they're going to recognize you've been through a lot recently. However, you're going to be through the storm, right? Like you're going to be completing the cycle. But they're going to be like trying to figure out if they ask you to stay, are you going to leave, are you going to run? I feel like they um, are fearful that you're going to run. You already know. So you might already know who this person is. Maybe you already know what this is all about. Maybe your intuition has already been telling you what's about to go down. Um, and they are waiting for you. Ace of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. New start in love. Um, you know, the Ace of Pentacles could be a new person, but it could be an old person too, guys. Can be a new start with an old person. Let me just see what my battery issue. No, now you just got a sneak peek of my messy, messy um, basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh well it's okay all right let's get some hidden truth oracle cards from all things intuitive i'm afraid to contact you 
Oh, I couldn't let you get close to me. Mm. That card's trying to find, I regret lying to you and I wish things could be different. You guys, um, I kind of feel like those could be your truths. I'm not sure. It could be both. Hmm. I couldn't let you get close to me. I'm afraid to contact you. I regret lying to you. I wish things could be different. Those are some heavy messages. All right, let's get some White Rose Guidance Divine Love Messages, Volume 2 for Leo and their person. I tried to stop these feelings, but now you are burning hotter and brighter <laughs> than ever within me. Mm. I'm sorry. I laugh because I think it's funny. <laughs> um, I want to dance across eternity with you. I think that just signifies it's the soul connection. The taste of your presence is something I will never be able to. I will never, ever be able to forget. It's like we share the same mind and heart. All right, my Leos. We're going to get a Heart Songs of the 90s, Songs in the Keys of Love by Celestial Forecast by Carrie. These are actually songs from the 90s and a chunk of the lyric. Um, this song may resonate with you personally. I kind of feel like I should pull this one. Um, it may resonate with you per personally. It may make you think of this person um, that uh, is in your read, or it could just be that you need to listen to the message. Oh, I love this song. It's Get Here by Oletta Adams. Okay. You can reach me by sailboat, climb a tree and swing rope to rope, take a sled and slide down slope into, the, into these arms of mine. You can jump on a speeding colt, cross the border in a blaze of hope. I don't care how you get here. Just get here if you can. So if someone is afraid to call you or contact you, the person is telling you, get there, get there if you can. All right, Leos, that concludes, that concludes your read. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate your support. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe if you feel inclined to do so. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, guys. Thank you. Take care. Till next time.